So this is our first morning in England. Uh, we had a good night. It's a beautiful day out. Look at that bright blue sky in England. So we got Tony's gear. He's gonna come with the van, pick it up, all the guitars and keyboards and amps. The US flight is arriving right now with a video crew and Fab and the musicians are arriving later on. The Ken Scott, Abbey Road engineer and the Beatles engineer on the White Album is arriving no later than very soon. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go to the studio and we're gonna have the video crew set up until Fab and Ken arrives. And this is it, Abbey Road Studios, let's see what it looks like. We're a specialist drum facility in London where we basically have the biggest vintage collection of drums in Europe and uh, we specialize in recreating the sounds for clients. I'm looking forward to hearing the final outcome that you guys do with it. Oh, beautiful. They're currently setting up what we call the red console. Uh, that's a console that, a similar console that we used on the first Beatles album. Uh, and there's only very, very few left in the world. We've been told this is as close as it gets to the original console. It is. They went around the studios. Number one was the most important. Number two, this one. And number three, the Neve desk in number three studio, which was Pink Floyd's favorite studio at the time. It remained there for 11 years, the Neve desk. It was pretty good. Looks like they know each other. This actual instrument we heard on so many records, we know. It seems, uh, yeah, ever yep. so slightly out of tune. Maybe it's on purpose. Yeah, it's beautiful. This was the original color. Um, in, I think, 65, they were, George and John both had one. And then he did that with it, with his girlfriend's nail varnish. It sounds better with this? Oh yeah, it has, yeah. has to sound better with your girlfriend's nail varnish. Yeah. Them. We're going up to the control room with Ken because I want to see the board. Because I'm not a nerd, but I play one on TV. <laughs> Ken, this is just amazing. They told me it was only four in two hour, but it is actually eight in two hour. So, uh, so we can do it on here? Yeah, the trouble is there are only two outs. Mm. And some of it we're going to need to get different, different outs. So that's Tony and his son. That's all the gear they brought from Liverpool. There's like 15 guitars, three amps. We're going to use that for the shoot. They're changing the strings, testing the amps, basically making sure everything is in working order for the shoot later on. Strong on day one, but yeah. I think. <laughs> all right. But that was a good action, I'd all say. Right. You know, that constitutes hero. That's my job. I he 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 heroes do things in the moment. Legends live forever. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Rich finished setting up the drums, he tuned it. There was loads and loads of interesting information with the batter head, the resonance. They're about ready to mic it, and we're actually gonna get some sounds. You should go check it out. How's that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. sending you drums, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. That way I can come in I down see. and I get close to it. Well, well when you do a reso head, do you... Do I, I haven't done... I will suspend the mic inside. Oh, yeah, but it's free distribution. Of, okay, here we go, I wanna go sit down. So we've got Tony, bass player, and Jimmy, guitar player. And I know for the occasion they've 
written some songs just for the occasion to uh, show us how it's done the Beatles way. Right now they're rehearsing the songs and it sounds amazing already. You're not at home. You, Robin and Alts with the home. Uh, yeah. I made him a cup of tea. He said, this is four cups of tea with one bag in it. <laughs> you know, a cup of tea is this much water. <laughs> oh. inspired by the first era of the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. So we just heard the band listen to the song. It was all done in mono. Uh, bass, guitar, bass, drum, harmonica, vocals, they're all in one mono track. I think right now they're going to record it again uh, just for, for the pure mixers to send the stamp separately and have fun with it. But that's mono. Hi. Look tired. No. I just got here. I'm not tired. I'm feeling great. So to get here, we braved Snowstorm, plane cancellations, plane delays. The whole plane was stuck behind broken doors for a while. Just wonderful things like that. And then we got here and things were pretty, pretty well set up. Yeah. And it's crazy because if you look, we have two microphones on the drums, one microphone on the guitar, one microphone on the bass, and one microphone for the two vocals. And that's everything. And, and this everything. is supposed to sound like the first albums of the Beatles, right? That's his 1963 first album. That's exactly how they did it. It's been recreated both from recollection that Ken had uh, talking to Norman, uh, the engineer at the time, and also from pictures. And Ken kept uh, referencing pictures from those actual sessions. So this is the closest we can get in this room, in the same corner, with the same kind of amps and the same kind of drums, and very likely, potentially, the same microphones. The big discovery for me is the microphone that was on the bass drum. That's crazy. It just sounded perfect. Just push it. Of course, having the red desk up there doesn't suck. And then the famous staircase right there. Yeah, pretty awesome. Well, that was a long day. Let's go to bed. Yes, this is a good idea. I propose we do that. What are you up to? Well, we're, uh, we're recording more of the tutorial here on the Beatles. All right. How long you been up for? I think around 36 hours or so. Oh, announcement. Oh my God, it's Jesus. I'm here, God, take me. 